how is it going everybody and welcome to my channel my name is copyright and today we are gonna look first time since the server working against real people real players in mythic my naya build and this naya build i was super excited to build and also super excited to play and it's so much fun i made uh nine games i think in 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 mythic and i won a lot of them but you're gonna see definitely um because the, i mean because it's early in the season it's really difficult to say where exactly the deck is but i think this deck has definitely legs and this deck can be improved definitely but currently right now he's an it, it's on a super high level uh let's go through some new cards a little bit more in detail and a little bit less so this intro will be maybe a little bit longer if you want to skip to the gameplay part feel free i have all the time steps down in the description and if you are skipping maybe consider to subscribe it will be really nice um otherwise let's check it out um so storm the festival i don't need to talk about but let's talk about some new cards right jet mirror jet mirror nexus of uh reveal re reveals um four mana five four creature alone these stats are amazing legendary cat demon and then it has this all this super exciting abilities let's say almost like a, a questioning beast if somebody of you of you remember from icoria this creature has a lot of text and you need to read a lot of true but i'm gonna explain it to you easily if we control three or more creatures um our creature get plus one plus o and vigilance if we control six or more creatures so six creatures right somebody somebody needs to read my lips <laughs> joking um six or more creatures the creatures in addition to the vigilance and plus one plus all get plus one plus o addition and trample when we have six creatures and then and then it gets crazy because it's it's trample um then if we control nine or more creatures so nine nine <laughs> Then they get again plus one plus O in addition to previous plus one plus O's and double strike. What do you want more? It's basically a game finisher. If you have a white board, right? Like it's often, ha often happening that you suddenly have like, I don't know, a lot of small creatures, but you cannot really attack because they do nothing. Jetmir is exactly here for these situations where you are just like looking at each other with your opponent and suddenly you top the Jetmir, bam, you play it on the field and give it but also in the early game even if you have just three creatures plus one plus one in vigilance is super important because you can attack and also block if you need to if you want to um this is why jetmir is just an amazing creature then one addition and it's more a meme addition this is a card that i would say i could cut but this card has a huge synergy with our jenny fate that we are going to talk about it a little bit later um it's the ognis the dragon slash four mana um again four um three three hasty creature but the text is the ones that i'm more excited about because this can combo off really really fast it, it says whenever a creature you control it uh, uh, with haste attacks create a tapped treasure token tapped so it can do nothing and because with jennifer we create creatures with with the uh, tapped treasure tokens the creatures are hasty cats so they are all haste they have as ability not that they uh, uh the, the cat tokens do not gain haste until end of turn they have haste right and this is where the ovenis triggers if the creature has haste so we can attack also the following turns with the cats and still trigger the ability right um and this is where it gets crazy because J uh, jenny fey who doesn't know i think my f most favorite card from this set um it says if you will create one or more tokens doesn't matter which one treasures creatures whatever you instead create that many two two cat with haste or that many three one dog with vigilant and there depends on the situation what you want to create but then it gets more crazy more crazy because if we have devilish valet three mana one tree trample haste it says whenever another creature enters um the battlefield under your control double his power so you double it it means first creature give him um um a two tree the second creature gives him four tree the third creature gives him eight tree and so on so it doubles it doubles and it's he's like 32 tree with trample <laughs> and this is possible this is possible with ognis this is possible i had a game send i didn't record it but i had a game where he, he uh, where, where the wallet was 32 to three this is just mind-blowing this is just mind-blowing um yeah this is this is basically the amazing combo then we have a really amazing card as a common and this is javelin thief uh three mana three three amazing stats vigilant trample amazing abilities and 
plus on top of it, he creates tokens when he enters the battlefield. So we can make out of it creatures again of this token, or we can use it as an early ramp for things like Storm the Festival, right? The same is true for Big Score. Big Score, uh, basically unexpected beanful. I think you heard about it already. I don't need to explain it. Um, right of Harmony, you know, I love this card for card draw, and in this deck is as a super spot. Um, I think you saw it in the in the in the intro. How amazing it can pop off, and how many cards you can draw with it. Um, Prospect Inkeeper, this is the second card that I will say I could cut in this deck um, because it has some nice synergies with life gain because we create so many tokens, we gain a lot of life but also he himself creates a token that can create us uh, uh, cats or dogs um, and uh, contribute towards this synergy that we want to go run but this, is, this will be a card that I will maybe replace with something else and then a breakdown down, you will know what and then Gala Greeters um, another amazing card already mentioned in the last video shortly through it has a lot of different abilities check out the gameplay definitely to find out how right way to synchronize the abilities to get the most value out of it because uh, just as a small small notice if you create trapped tapped treasure tapped treasure token uh with uh, jenny Fay, it's a creature and because it triggers on an entry battlefield a creature you can choose another mode extra right so if you create a token you have jenny Fay first create a treasure token it will trigger a second ability and then you can gain life or put a 1-1 one -one counter really important magda and sentinel don't need to explain and then we can do the sticky finger <laughs> the sticky finger who knows scary movie i love this movie scary movie one two three and uh, <laughs> my, my cream <laughs> um this is what it reminds me about sticky finger one mana um and it says enchanted creature enchanted creature has menace and whenever this creature deal combat damage to a player create a treasure token again token and then we have more value on this card whenever enchanted creature dies we draw a card like how many how much value do you want to get out, out of one drop this is just an amazing card and if you combine this with magda we create two tokens in one turn like this is amazing, and Magda also gains menace, then it makes it more difficult for my opponent to block. This is super amazing card, Sticky Finger is just, I think it's the biggest sleeper in the red deck that, that, you, that you will see, because I'm gonna use this card in more decks, so memorize it. Sticky Finger, amazing card, two off, we don't need more because we require other cards to have a synergy with it, but then even if the creature dies, we can draw a card and we already most likely created some treasure tokens. Kakazan here for our favorite card, Obnix, because it says it deals also the Planeswalkers um, damage and we also exile stuff and we also have great synergy with Right of Harmony and uh, we also have the ability, for example, play Tifling and this is where it becomes amazing. Tifling on turn 3 has a 4-4 Vigilant Trample that creates us also extra top. Another amazing creature, the Gold Hound. Um, and this is this has so much purposes in our deck, not only as a first striking menace creature that also is amazing with sticky finger that constantly creates us tokens, but also in situations where we are mana starved. And I never had a game where I'm mana starved because also of Jetmere, but also one of these Cabaretti courtyard, uh, uh, cour courtyards. Um, we get so much filtering through the mana that we... To be honest, I never had a game where I had issues to cast a card. Um, this is why Goldhound is amazing. I first run four of, of, it, of it, and then, as I said, I, I, I uh, gained some cards through new packs. I had made some additions after testing, and uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. And uh, this is why I needed to cut uh, the, the Goldhound a little bit because in Sunday I had like three, four Goldhounds, but nothing to really cast on top of it or use the ability to sacrifice it. But amazing card, super card. Yeah. Um, then our new overview here, you see. <laughs> You see here 22 lands, uh, still not the optimal decision. Uh, I will show you later how I would maybe change this overview here, but doesn't matter. Uh, average 2.4, so a really stable 22 lands, but with so much treasure and so much uh, uh, acceleration, never a problem, 22 lands. And you see here what I did with the lands. Uh, I kept one of, uh, of, of, the, of the basics from green and red, because we are mostly green and red. We splash white just a little bit. White we splash only for um, actually Jetmir and uh, Right of Harmony. This is the only splash for white. No, no, charm, charm. I'm sorry. Charm you also require white. So we just splash a little bit of white inside it, right? Basically, we are more gruelish colorations. Yeah, this is why we don't have a basic for white, but we have El Ganjo, great card. Um, the mountain. 
to fetch up with our courtyard or two forests also to fetch up with our courtyard because we need a little bit more forests for our storm the festival um and of course chetmi's garden the uh, uh triumphs that uh, can be um yeah played uh weirdly enough Ah, oh, yeah, it says basic. Okay, from because because you cannot fetch up the cabaretic courtyard, you cannot fetch up the triumphs. Um, and uh, I tried it multiple times. First, I thought I forgot something, but uh, it says basic, basic plane, uh, forest or mountain. Yeah, on this point, guys, let's jump straight into the gameplay and see how it will go there with our amazing Naya deck. And here we are in our first game with our amazing Naya deck. And if you skipped the intro and didn't heard it. Consider to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot out. Otherwise, let's check out the hand. Opponent goes first, this is a super slow hand. Um, but, a super cool hand, depends what we draw, right? But we have token makers, we have some ramp, so can go in both ways. Can go in both ways, and... Uh, sure, let's keep it, let's keep it. Let's check out how it will go. And from there on, we're gonna see. Upon with the tap land. Sure, let's go with the tap land too. Another land is not super helpful, but. Zelavi. Ajuka. Oh, am I playing against. Am I playing against runes? What do we take? Let me see. Um, We take another. Green. Why not, right? Why not, I would say. Let's see if my opponent has Skyclave Apparition. So this is not a basic rune. This is something special. <laughs> special runes, Bob. Um, do I play her instantly? Or do I play first you? Or do I play you and ramp into Jetmir? I think I ramp into Jetmir. Jetmir is, I think, a little bit stronger here. Especially against this life linking stuff, and uh, Thief is, I think, amazing card for a, for a uh, uh, common. It's sugar, three mana, three tree, great treasure, has vigilance, has trample. What do you want more, right? What do you want more? Opponent is keep on drawing cards. This is okay. Super excited that it's finally working. Thank you, thank you, game, thank you, Jesus, um, and whoever is up there. It's amazing. Thank you, wizards. It's foretelling something. You think he foretells Doomscar or something? Uh, let's go here for white, even if we don't have so much white. Can I play you and you? I can. I can play you. I can play you. Boop, boop. And then start creating um, some kitties, I would say, huh? With haste, vigilance, haste, vigilance, haste, vigilance, haste, vigilance. Uh, what's a haste, right? And put a counter. First, by the way, by the way, this is important interaction with Gal. Always create uh, a treasure token if, if you have uh, Jenny Faye. But you will figure it out. This deck has a lot of micromanagement, micro interactions, um, where you need to figure out with the time you're playing it. So, you, because we created a cat token now, because we go for treasure, I'm not gonna go kill here because I think my opponent has uh, Doomscar. This is why, even if he sweep everything, we will get our token back. It's a 1 1. Yeah. Big brain, right? Even if we get the token here. Um, so let's go, you post everything, and you for red, right? So we go here for green, we cr make you, and we make you, and we go in again, because Jetmir. Jetmir arauras, arauras, allow us to make plays like this. Um, even one ones are dangerous. Opponent has two cards left, I have one card left, but this card... The one card that I have is very, very good. We just need to have some follow-up now, but I'm certain that we will get some follow-up here. From mana, I'm not really scared of anything. 
my opponent is like fuck i should have i should have put some some new capena cards in oh by the way benedictor am i allowed i sure it's a beer I, I think in the united states it's forbidden to make beers commercial or something uh benedictor and augustina best beer in germany best german beers um let's play gala out and uh, let's attack all right <laughs> do i care him getting to life no not really say la vie don't tell me he has another doom scar oh no oh this will be also a good addition in my deck good game my friend good game should i add this light rant this is two creature at one oh this is a good idea i will edit now i will edit now our next game against dancino dancino uh we have green we have red we have white we have turn two plays good this is good turn to gala always gala the greeters how do you want to call them by the way i let you decide how should i call him not 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 gala greeters but greeters gala or maybe i don't know avatar <laughs> they look like blue men line ma ma mans um okay the chest sentinel up front will be better but say la no say la Salabi, Salabi, Salabi. Oof, I think this is a super explosive start here. This is a super explosive start here. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. We create a treasure. We put here another counter. No attacks. Don't need to go face. This Wolfie is not a threat for me currently. But next turn. Oof. Oof, guys. Oof. Telling. Oof. Oof. And then the next turn afterwards. Oof. Oof. So basically. Um Jenny Faye. Okay, my opponent don't like fun. He's literally like anti-fun, right? But still. Uh oof. Oof. Still, still, still. Um let's play you. Yeah, I need to. Let's play Jenny. Enters the battlefield and again the interaction. First a treasure token. Then we create a... It's tapped. Let's uh, create a wool. And then we put another counter on it. Then we go face. And next turn we start creating Hazer. Hazer. Because Ognis to Dragon Lash is a Vlashino. Never heard this creature type. Um... Maybe it's common in modern or maybe some pioneer. Whenever creature control with haste attack creature tap, tapped cre uh, a treasure token. Instead of tokens, we're gonna create cats. Um, counting. I think it's smarter to play big score in the opponent's turn. And uh, then play vanish in the or uh, play play Ognis in the next turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is smarter. I think this is smarter. Should I attack with the thingy? But then he's gonna crew this one, and I can do nothing. So this is why I'm not gonna to look at this doggy. Look, at this dog. My dog is sleeping there, but it doesn't look like this. It's not a shepherd, but similar colors. My cat and dog is also orange. <laughs> orange dogs. Cool art. Cool art. I like it. I like both of the arts. I like the cat art and I like the dog art. Okay, my opponent is going to put a 1-1 counter on uh, Chariot. And I'm not really mad about it, to be honest. Mm. Oh, you should have played Magda first, huh? Is my opponent dead next turn? Not sure about it. Where is he gonna put the counter? Here? You know what it means? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. This is not a big deal. Because people don't know how to play against this deck, is this not a big deal? Hey you, I see you. I see you. Um, we create hasty as a set, and it's a double trigger. We create another one. Um, another trigger. You like it? My creation. My creation. My creation. And, and this is just madness what's going on now. You will see. You will see. This is just madness. As soon as we hit Ognis, as soon as we hit Ognis, this is gonna be over. This is gonna be over so soon, so fast. This is, this is... I can even go here, right? But then I don't have enough mana. Do I have enough mana to play Ognis? Ugh, you know, I don't, I don't really care. Let's go. Let's go. My opponent had enough? So basically what will happen, you, you saw, you, I, I think some of you already know what will have happened, but I just want to explain it because some opponents scoop even if this is new cards. So basically now every time I attack something, because the kitties are hasters, you see their haste standing, each kitty triggers our Ognis. Um, Ognis create tap treasure tokens, so we, with a, each time we attack we create another token. This token will create me 3-3 three, three doggies. Um, so I would have 4? 4? Four? Four, three, three, vigilant, three, one, vigilant doggies, right? And next turn, <laughs> uh -huh -huh. creature you control, get plus one, plus one, have double strike as long as you control nine or more creatures. Jesus. Here we go, game three. All games are uncut, my friends. At first, I don't have time to cut multiple games, loss or win, don't matter. And second, I want to present you the deck as it is, and this deck is amazing, just amazing. Um, the hand is good too. I'm gonna keep it. We have some ramp, we have some card draw. I'm fine with it. I am fine with it. We can already turn three uh, Wally if we want to, but it looks like we draw your green. Yes. It looks like we draw good enough to not turn three uh, wallet. I usually like to do it if opponents again on runes. What is wrong with runes here? They are like... <laughs> so, next turn, uh, you need to be careful, my friend. There are a lot of things can happen. A lot of things can happen next turn. I mean, obviously, I'll borrow time, he's gonna take the devil, okay? Sure, sure, sure. I don't mind, I don't mind. Jesus, Jesus. Just telling you, Jesus. I'm just, I'm just saying, my friends. I'm just saying. This is, this is, this deck, this deck. <clears throat> no, let me... <clears throat> I love it. I love it. Next turn. Next turn. Storm the festival. Even if we will not have mana, because Groundhound is also a treasure. Not only he already made four damage to my opponent, but he also is a treasure. What is this word? This new? It's new. So, um, let's play you. Let's play you. You like? Uh, let's play you and you. Uh, let's uh, put a counter here. And let's attack. With vigilance. I see you. I see you. You like this deck. I like it too. Why are we not together? Why are we not together? <laughs> this deck is just amazing. This deck is super fun, super good. And I, I, for tomorrow, I want to prepare. So for me, it's tomorrow after tomorrow. But I'm going to prepare some juicy best of three list. Um, I, I'm thinking about Junt. Junt juiciness. This is the juiciness I'm thinking about. Do something new, my friend. Do something new. Do something at least. Um, 
Boom. Boom chakalaka boom. Boom chakalaka boom. Um, let's see. I think a little bit more red, huh? Gonna discard it because I can. Eh, uh, sure. Um, we create a treasure top. Sure. And then we're gonna take you. Uh, take you. No. One attacker is okay, right? One attacker is okay. Not so super happy with the hit of the big score, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, right of harmony and storm the festival will draw us something. As soon as we draw something like Kakazan, for example, uh, right of harmony will draw us a lot of cards. So, I'm sorry. Four cards. He needs to have something. Maybe a sweeper. Borrow time. Okay, okay. Take the Jetmir. Take. Him. I will take Jetmir too. To be honest, but another one? Oh no, okay. Rune of Trample. Okay. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. And again you see this this gem of thief is just amazing. I'm hyperventilating, my friends. Hyperventilating. Look at this. One. Two. Draw card. Create a treasure. It's a creature. Right? Vigilance. Three. Put a counter. Four. We are escalating. We are escalating. Look at this. Gain life. Draw cards. No. First attack, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You like it? I know you like it. I know you enjoy it. I know. <laughs> I love this deck. This is so good. This is so good. This is just next level. Next level. Mm. And I really want to show you the combo with the devil. Um, because devil gets out of hand like Rite of Harmony, right? Because Rite of Harmony can draw you a lot of cards. Devil can become a really big... Um, you know what I'm trying to say, right? I'm thinking here, um, the best pattern to play it. It's a really good hand. Um, we can go with slow and roll it a little bit, depends what my opponent has, or we can go with fast. Fast away will be play this for red, go hound, right? Next turn, tap plant into finger. I think this is a good good approach. I think we're gonna do that. Blah, blah, blah. Imagine if your treasure dog creates treasures. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And if it dies, it draws your cards. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? Like, turn two. Turn two. We have already one to four mana. Right? How amazing is that? And he cannot even block. He cannot even block. Right? Like, he cannot even block. We go for another green, because try and produce also white. Can I play you first and then? No, no. Let's play Jetmir first. How to play? Be careful because sometimes I encounter a situation where you sacrifice your dog. You don't want to sacrifice your dog. Dog is your friend. Yeah, doggy is your friend. Um, great. Uh, vigilant doggy here. And it looks like sometimes, sometimes I had games where um, 
Ginny Fay is a little bit a downside because we need the treasures to pump out from the festival. In these games, you need to, let's say, determine the situation yourself. How much do you need treasures or how much do you need creatures? I think in this situation, I don't know why my opponent tries to attack. Okay. In this situation, I think creating um, dogs is more effective than, than creating treasures. Uh, if I go you... I will get a lot of life. I will save the big score for a little bit later. We create another dog because we need to pass the, 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 the Kappa. Kappa is an amazing creature. If just if I forgot to tell you that. And as long as my opponent do not have a removal for the Jenny, it will be difficult for him because this is uh, constantly a lot of damage. Why, why you are Golga? Ah, safekeeping. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, my friend. Popping off here, huh? Popping off. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um. Golgari, yeah, I knew that. You're a Golgari Invoke or something like this, but Golga Invoke is now a little bit weaker because we have a lot of... I like your thinking. I like your thinking uh, for the simple reason that this will allow me... to play Big Score next turn. I want to play Big Score to... to Storm the festival the turn after. Mm, nice. Big score. Again, be careful that your dog is not dying, right? <laughs> this is a very interesting decision. Very cool game. Very interesting decision. I didn't draw any lands. Because of it, if I play now Storm the Festival, I need to sacrifice a dog. So I will draw a land or a card too. I don't want to do that. This is why I'm going to play um, the Devil. And then I'm going to play Kakazan. Yes. Then I'm gonna do nothing. If I hit Jetmir from top, this will be double strike, right? No, it will not be, but I will be vigilant. They are gonna chill. They are gonna chill for now. And you see how the doggy punishes, especially with this uh, sticky finger. Sticky finger. Finger and then sticky wire somewhere else and sticky. So, oh, dress. Mwah. I love your approach, my friend. I love your approach. Most, yeah, he takes from the festival, of course. Of course. Of course. Return from your graveyard. Okay, return it. Return it. So he's a death touch tribal. Interesting. But we'll see how effective it will be. So, um, then let's see. We play you or white. We play you as a 4 4. Bloop, bloop. Then we're gonna play you with a treasure. Bloop, bloop. And then we're gonna. Atakuitsa? One, two, three, four. Pam, pam, pam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Two damage. Two damage. Let's see if he can get out of it. He can kill two creatures now, right? Yeah, yeah. one damage to each of them. Yes. Yes! Is this four in the row? Is this four in the row? Is this four in the row? 
Let's go next. So now our last game, then we go to Breakdown. Breakdown will be a little bit shorter, just a little bit. Rolion, Jesus, a set to release a set so shortly before uh, the season reset is, I think, not the smartest decision, but it's okay. Um, and here, I don't want to play Kakazan on turn one because uh, we don't have any creature on turn two. This is why we're going to play Templet. Hello, my friend. Hello, Rolian. If you're watching. Hello. Um, because we don't have any creatures on uh, on turn 2, but we have creatures on turn uh, 3, especially the Tiefling. Trample Vigilance plus 1 plus 1 counter. It's just juicy. What should I say? And it ramps you. Um, look at this. It tramps me. It tramp me. It tramp me. And now we put an upkeep stop because uh, I want to draw a card before uh, this thingy pops. Uh, this is uh, red will stay, so we put play this one for white. Right? Because this is green, this is white for right of harmony. This is why you, you need to put an upkeep stop uh, before Kakazan resolves. This is uh, two mana, draw a card, and maybe even more. Right? Well, this is okay. Uh, so we play you. So. Oh, this is a really good draw. Main phase. Now he enters the battlefield because it's exile and then enter the battlefield. We draw a card from Right of Harmony. I already explained this um, interaction. Then we draw another card because of Kakazan. Because this is also an enchantment. Right of Harmony. Another card. And then we can play this one for green. And... Uh, Draw another card. This is how it is. This is how it is. And now my opponent needs to be really, really careful. It's okay, okay. Is he a cra- he's a crazy mafreak. He is a crazy mafreak. Literally crazy mafreak. Oof, the sticky finger. A sticky finger. A sticky finger. Guys. Sticky finger. Um... Yeah, check me first. Four, four. Then you for red. Sticky finger with the red. And... Two. Create a doggy. Okay. Create another doggy. And play Sentinel. Oof. You have Doomscar? If he has Doomscar, everything gonna get exiled. Stop it. Who is texting me? Oh, I think my girlfriend is texting me. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. So. Sorry. Uh, circle on Sentinel on Magda? Magda, I will go. I will go Magda. This is a way to bypass my um, card draw. Oh, it's okay. Happens rarely. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, nice. How much? How much do you get? So my opponent has removal, full of removal. Okay. Ah, I forgot to put an upkeep stop. I was talking too much, my friends. I was talking too much. I needed to put an upkeep stop to play again the same shenanigans we did with uh, Harmony to draw an extra card. Um, this way we're gonna cycle you. This is not what we needed to draw. Oh Jesus. One green. Give me a second. Yeah. 
Uh, and no attacks. No attacks. I mean, my opponent drew pretty good, huh? Like, three removals. Still, still it's okay. It's okay. The deck, the deck has the chance to come back. Like, crazy. Imagine now we draw Storm the Festival. <sighs> Storm the Festival now will be like... In your face. So opponent will go for a little bit of the... Oh, another one? Jesus, what is wrong with you? Chill, huh? Chill. This is 10 damage. I'm gonna exile your Kami. I'm gonna trade four creatures against it, but I'm still gonna exile it. You don't even need to check. Sexy. <clears throat> okay. Take 10. Take 10. Uh, tiefling is not what I needed. This is not what I needed. Let's play you. Let's play you. Oh, game. I think this is game, right? This is game. This is game. Too much removal. Too much. I mean, we have chances against removal. If this will be a pure control deck, um, easy. Easy going. Um, but this way he makes all the time 10 damage and we do not draw an answer for it. So this is why Jesus bro, just attack for, for whatever you feel for. Doop doop. It's okay. Still super happy with the deck. One loss in five games, I think, or six games. Maybe even more. Um, super good. Super good. And super fun to play. There are so cool plays. Let's go to the breakdown. Welcome to the breakdown part, my beautiful people. And uh, yeah, performance amazing of this deck. Of course, it's always really difficult to say so early in the set, especially like, what is it? One, two days for me. It's one for you to... Um, <laughs> the first day you cannot even count because the server were not working but i think we are up to something i definitely think that this deck is able to go really far and really competitive i would say like really on a high level um i think if i want to do it more on a high level i think i will remove ognis because even if he is a really good creature i think he is more for a different type of deck right like something in giant giant hasters maybe something like this right um in this deck he is more of the utility card to go crazy with uh, uh um Ginny Fey and of course with devilish valet valet devilish valet yeah so this is more like this memeish approach to this deck right um and i definitely will revisit this deck as soon as the matter is established and as soon as we start seeing some maybe annoying decks, maybe some difficult decks. Uh, I will definitely adapt this deck to this meta. But until now, oh yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to play this deck. It feels good. It feels good. It feels really good. I like all the additions. I will not change anything for right now, right here, right now. Nothing. Because from the mana base to our one, two, three drops, everything. If I would remove the Ognis, I will maybe add one more Jetmir. Because Jetmir is such a huge value. Um, so we have three Jetmirs, three Janie, and the rest is just token producers. Um, what I will maybe add to is maybe some sort of some sort of removal. But some sort of removal that I can also use for myself. So maybe like stance, right? Stance will be nice, two mana, uh, kill creature with toughness for greater, or make something indestructible. I think stance will feel here fit here pretty good. Um, instead of stance, I will maybe take out Innkeeper. I mean, Innkeeper is amazing because we can gain life and stuff. Um, just a multi-versatile tool and also create treasures that can later be creatures. Um, but I think for Innkeeper, the band deck that I showed you yesterday, and I will definitely make a normal gameplay where I play against people with it, 
uh, innkeeper is there much, much more impactful, let's say. Um, charm, I'm sad that we haven't draw charm. Um, creatures you control get uh, Yeah, I think charm can make a difference here, but I'm not sure about it. To be honest, I'm not sure about it. Um, otherwise, yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it. I, I spontaneously what I'm thinking uh, I don't even know what I, sh I should have changed or I would have changed there is this one card I'm gonna show it to you I also run at the beginning but then I drew my another uh, devilish volley and then I exchanged things a little bit um, it's uh, I'm sorry I don't know the names uh, of, the, of the cards because they're also new but it's a three mana green card that is also a lot of value here most wanted most wanted flash, 3 mana flash, so you can play it on opponent's turn. Enchant a creature. Enchant a creature is a 2-1, and whenever the creature dies, um, we create two treasure tokens. So this is also a really, really good, not only a combo trick to kill something, but also re-establish your board, let's say, um, for, for, let's, I don't know, for some difficult situations. If opponent do not count, we suddenly... Um, and, and because it's instant speed, we can do it on opponent's turn, and suddenly on the next upkeep, we have already six power that can go towards our opponent, right? Because we can create two, uh, three, one, dock, vigilant tokens. We have uh, Jenny Faye, of course, on the board, and uh, then from there we can go further. But also, if we don't have Jenny Faye, these two uh, treasure tokens can ramp us towards something like Storm the Festival, even a uh, flashback Storm the Festival, because we need 10 mana for it. Uh, so this is, I think, uh, also a really, really cool addition. If you want to try it out, Most Wanted is definitely a card for you. Otherwise, guys, yeah, I'm going to go and make some other decks. As I said, I'm going to make a really cool jump deck for best of three. I hope I will finish it and be happy with it as I am happy with this deck. Um, if you have any suggestions, anything you can add to this um, deck, to this Naya token deck, let me know down in the comments. I will be happy to try it out uh, now that I have some possibilities you see maybe i also have my uh, wild cards here because of the pre-order my vault is also pretty close so this is all really really smooth very really cool yeah on this spot thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one ciao